Hey guys, it's been a while. As you can see by the title of this video, we will be doing math to determine what the percentage is for the types of damage reduction and damage reflection there is in the game. I made this video as I was kind of curious myself how much it could actually be, but also for the newer players that might not understand how much of a difference there is between a lot of these abilities or talents. Before we start though, I am going to go over some of over the controls I have for this test to make sure everything is the same as possible. Number one, all tests will be conducted with a 1.0 webinator with base damage and no brawler, sharp teeth, and out of element. The opposing creature will also be 1.0 or 1.2 depending on if I can get the reflect bonus for some of the other creatures but 1.0 will be preferred. Number two is all creatures we test this on will not have thick hide so we can see how raw reduction works and any creature that increases their defensive talent passively we will also not have any inherits on there. Number three, any creatures that share the same ability will not be repeated as the ability should be the same on all creatures. <clears throat> and number four, while not really a control, is Acro will not be tested during this, as when you do the roar, it does tell you what the reduction is, though things like size and bleed do affect it a little bit, so keep that in mind. Now before you click out the video, you're probably thinking to yourself, why the hell is Rav showing us a calculator? Well, I'm showing this to you, so you know how I'm getting these numbers for this test. Now in order to see percentages, you have to do the number you have versus the number you usually get. So I'm going to make it really easy for the first one. Let's say I do 70 damage, but I usually do 100. I'm going to divide this number by the number I usually do, so 100. So this 0.7 is actually a percentage, and it's 70%. To make it more of like a Bob specific uh, solution, I'm gonna do, let's say 87.3. And let's say I do 325 damage usually. So this number is 0.268. Now, that means I do about, or not, sorry. This, that means this number right here, this 87.3, is about 27% of my usual damage. So I'm missing out on a lot of damage if I'm doing that little. Uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys. If not, I'm sure you can find somebody who will help you. Starting with Cytania, with Psy, something to keep in mind is the reflect damage Spiky Shield does is the only thing that increases. Its damage taken does not get reduced, however, the speed from the reflect can be changed with Steadfast depending on the stacks you get from taking hits. I think on this list, Cytania is one of the more important ones to kind of remember how much damage you're doing because the reflect does so much damage even at the lower levels of this ability. So having this knowledge is going to be really important, especially when you're facing dinos that do a lot of damage like Rex or Acro, it's going to be really crucial. While Arclon only has a baseline reflect damage of 25%, it also takes away AP and stamina of things that reflect off of it. However, its passive shield from the armored shell ability does damage mitigation, which means part of the damage is transferred onto the shell instead of the main HP, meaning you basically have a second health bar. The more points you put into the 1.2 talent, the more damage gets mitigated onto the shell instead of your actual HP. It also reduces injury damage. Koa's Protective Frill passive gives it a massive damage reduction when hit on its front and with the recent update got two big buffs which make it even better. The first is any damage blocked by the second part of its new passive ability applies to its whole body and the second being a stackle passive mechanic being added to it called active defense which when you take damage from the front it gives you the baseline 7.5% of damage reduction and after that gives you a multiplicative stacking damage reduction with an equation I'll show you at the end of its segment because I don't know how to do it.
Terrestrial Paleo has a talent called Defensive Coil, which reduces damage while in the coil state. At the time of this video, the other two variations of the snake does not have it. Acrobat is a talent that Apache shares with Velo, which reduces damage taken while jumping, flying, or in a freefall state, and needs at least one point or one in air to activate. Hard-headed is used by both Chrono and Archelon and reduces damage only while in lunge and makes it so you need two hits instead of one to be taken out of the coiling state. That's all for today's video. If the video helped you, give a like and subscribe. See you next time, hopefully not another six months.